Y'all, listen to me. No matter the current state of your channel, you are not a failure. YouTube is such a beautiful place for growth and learning. And if you have that deep down burning passion that you know that this is your purpose, this is what you're supposed to be doing, creating content and entertaining people with your personality and creativity, don't let anybody tell you that you can't or shouldn't do it. Because I know me personally, YouTube, without even being monetized, has completely changed my entire life. In my younger years growing up, I was always known as that smart shot kid. I never had many friends. I never went out to parties. All the fun things that other kids would do, I, I didn't do it. I had fun playing video games and recording myself playing video games. I had videos of me 11, 12 years old of me recording my TV screen as I'm playing the game. Because at the time, I was a big fan of gaming channels like Vanoss and Alley, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because Call of Duty was like my favorite thing at the time. So obviously, when it comes to gaming channels, you're supposed to have an Elgato. It allows you to take your gaming clips from your system, bring it onto like a laptop or something like that so that you can extract it from the TV and it could be like high quality. You wouldn't have that. I'm 12 years old. I don't have no money and my parents not finna buy me no Elgato. I don't got a laptop. So you know what I did y'all? I had the most ghetto setup ever y'all. I had all of my shoe boxes and then I had like my PS3 game cases on top for a little extra height. And I would lean my phone up against that to record the TV screen as I'm playing the game like actively or if I like save some clips on the PS3 I would like edit them up together, chop them up, and then record the final product. I say all that to say I cannot remember a time where I didn't know that YouTube is what I wanted to do. But it wasn't that simple and that easy. I started YouTube multiple times. And the first time I started it, I didn't have that backup and that push. So it kind of got to me mentally and I kind of let it go. That's why I always support for my YouTubers now to know that you're not going to always have somebody to support you. But don't let that squash your dreams and dim your flame because the only person that you need to believe in you is you because you are the person that's going to take you to where you want to be and you are the person that is living the life that you know you want to live so at the time i didn't have family supporting me because obviously all they know is you know school degrees college all that stuff so when you hear oh i want to be a youtuber i want to do youtube you need to get that oh okay or what is youtube what about school what about college you know what i mean like it didn't work so that younger drive that i had kind of got put to the side for a little bit i wouldn't say that i forgot about it or i didn't want to do it anymore it was just more of like a okay this isn't the time i let my outside affect me Fast forward to some of my early years in high school, I got more into that vlogging type scene. And at this point in my life, I was watching YouTube way more than I was watching TV. So I was really addicted to vlogs. I'm watching like DDG, I'm watching like Casey Neistat. That vlog, like in real life content, it kind of like struck something in me because I'm like, yo, these people are recording their everyday life and making it look so interesting. And people are really tuning in watching how these people live. I'm like, hey, I want to take a crack at it. So I start making little mini vlogs. I was doing like little trick shots montages all that type of stuff and that really made me happy no matter exactly what i was doing it just made me feel good because i was doing something that i love watching and i'm like now i love producing it and during that time period i think i learned the most valuable thing that youtube was helping me with now like i said in the beginning i was really shy and i was an introvert and i didn't really talk much the craziest part is i always heard some people when they talk about youtube they say how awkward they feel when they turn on that camera and have to talk to themselves but for me it was the opposite. When I turned on that camera, I could be me. I was able to present myself at my fullest. It wasn't the introvert and like the quiet person that everybody else got. It was the me that was hiding behind that wall. I was able to get on there and, hey, y'all, uh, it's your boy. You know, at the time I was XTMX Kilo. It's your boy Kilo. What's going on? And it felt good. I wasn't limited by my introvert tendencies, if that makes sense. And that's the biggest value that I think I got from YouTube, at least at that time. It gave me an outlet to be me and express me and it made me happy feeling that way because I didn't have that any other way. And one thing I remember about high school that is always going to be with me, y'all, is that we had a pizza party one day, right? It was in, I forgot what class it was, but coming on the end of the year, we had a pizza party, right? So the whole class lined our desk up in a straight line, right? So desk this way facing right, and then desk this way facing left. So we all facing each other, right? The teacher is like, oh, y'all, I want to get to know y'all a little bit better. So I'm going to go all the way down the line, and we're going to talk about who inspires you the most in life. The teacher is on one end, I'm on the opposite end, and then everybody else is like lined up between. So there's a lot of people before it gets to me. First person goes and they're like my biggest inspiration is my mom because she's been so strong and da -da 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 -da. you know 
you know, typical answer, right? Go down to the next one. Oh, my dad, because me and my dad always had this strong bond. Next one, my mom. Next one, my granny. You know, it was it was like that. It was real. Some people was crying, you know what I mean? Because it was real heartfelt on uh, how these people, like, you know, affect their life. Their mom, their parents, their grandparents, you know, stuff like that. Then it gets to me. And I say my biggest inspiration in life was DDG. Y'all. <laughs> When I tell you, people was like, Keyshawn, and people laughing and all this other stuff. And I'm just like, what? I'm like, DDG is a YouTuber, something I love and I want to be, is vlogging his life, living his best life, you know what I'm saying? Have, you know, these supercars and living in a penthouse. It's free, it's putting his family on and is enjoying life to the fullest. What is not to be inspired by that? But everybody in the room is laughing and like, oh, oh my God, I can't believe he said that. But that never swayed me at all because I'm like, yo, what do you mean? Like, are y'all not understanding? Like, yo, am I missing? Am I missing it? Like, what? Living great off, you know what I'm saying? Putting up his camera. He was being doctors, doing surgeries, and all this other stuff, making money that he making while putting up a camera. I don't understand why y'all laughing. Y'all better stop laughing and get some money. <laughs> That's always going to be a pivotal moment for me that I'm going to always remember. Skipping ahead a little more, now I think I'm a senior at high school at this point, and I wanted to start off YouTube, but in a different way. Throughout my high school years, I started to get more and more into fashion. That senior year and after high school, I posted Instagram pictures all the time, you know what I'm saying? And I got really creative in my fashion and photography and all kind of stuff like that. And I just decided like, okay, I know I'm going to be a YouTuber, right? Like no matter how many times it kind of like gets set back, I'm going to go back to it. So now that I got this newfound creative expression in fashion, I'm like, yo, let's bring it both together. And that was the form of this Playboy Kilo channel that y'all watching today. I didn't really get that many views. I didn't have that many subscribers, but it felt good to even bring my energy onto something that I love and having one comment that will be like, oh, I love the energy in this video or oh, that outfit is fire. Stuff like that it kept me going youtube also taught me you're building your support system you don't have to start off with one you don't even have to have like people around you supporting you you're building a fan base and that fan base is your biggest support and i had to learn that and i'm not even saying that as in a whole bunch of people even if you just have one subscriber that come and watch every one of your videos that you post think about it like this how many times do you log on to youtube and you subscribe to a new channel I know for me, it doesn't happen often at all. So for one person to see your video, think that you're so amazing that they gonna subscribe so that they can see every other video that comes from you, that is amazing and that is the support that you just built. Now, this part of my journey really in life, let alone YouTube, which is really in life, was kind of one of the rough patches that I really needed. So after I graduated high school and I'm out for a little bit, eyes were on me on what was my next move. I made the so great decision to go to welding school. Did I want to do it? No. But did I want everybody to get off my back on what I was going to do? Absolutely. So I went to welding school for six months. It was not me. It's not me. It's not what I wanted to do at all. So I'm sitting there sweating, BSing my way through, you know, this welding school, knowing I don't really know what I'm doing or knowing if I get out in that real field, this ain't going to cut it out there. But it's getting me through these little classes. But the reason why I say I needed that so badly, because the day that I decided that I was done and I wasn't going to do it anymore was the day that I decided I was never going to listen to what anybody else told me to do with my life i'm gonna do exactly what i want to do and if y'all had to guess what that was what y'all think i did <laughs> i got on youtube heavy y'all i was posting like two videos a week me and my cousin started a channel called key and kale reacts y'all and we got monetized on that channel we have 11,000 subscribers on that channel we don't be on it anymore because it kind of like led us down a path where we kind of didn't want to be but we made it we had made it on youtube and that all happened because i had to go through that rough spot of listening to something that i didn't want to do and that is why i'm a big advocate of do what you want follow your path because at the end of the day that is your path you're going to take all these detours by the end of the day you're gonna end up back on that path anyway so might as well run and gun another thing about youtube that really just helped me and changed my life in general is just the broadness of it you can find anything on youtube rather if you're looking on how to do something if you're into asmr if you're into mug bangs if you're into vlogs if you're into, it's such a big creative space for any and everybody and there's so many ways that you can be you and make a living off of being you it's just mind-boggling to me how you're perceived to go to college and and do things that you may not want to do rather than living great off of something that you love and i'm not saying college is like the worst thing. i'm just saying if you don't have a reason to go obviously i never wanted to be all these like cookie cutter jobs i never wanted to be a doctor i never want to be a, a police officer a firefighter i never want to be none of that so what am i going to college for if i'm just going to take these classes just to be in college but after i get out of college i'm working a normal job because i don't want to be nothing just the variety and being able to connect with people like you
you on YouTube has helped me so much. And that's why I do what I do because I want people just like me, you know, that been in my position that look like me and has the same mindset and drive as me to be able to come together and know that we got this as long as we stick together. And it's not just you feeling the way that you feel it. That is my biggest thing. I feel like that is why this is my purpose because I feel like I'm supposed to do this, make it despite all the odds so that I can show people like me that it is possible. But hey man, that's gonna wrap up the video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. And if y'all did connect with anything that I said, man, y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I want y'all to comment down below how y'all feel about y'all journey at the moment or where y'all wanna be or if anything I said inspired y'all or y'all connected with it, man, y'all let me know down in the comments. But hey man, I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Peace.